Welcome back to TechPress. In this guide, we're going to be diving into how to create a WordPress website using GoDaddy inside the 2023. So, um, whether you're starting a blog, setting up an online store, or creating a blog, setting up an online store, uh, it's going to be really, really easy. So, let's walk through each step to get your website up and running. So, let's get started. Understanding the WordPress uh, inside the GoDaddy. So, WordPress is a powerful and flexible content management system perfect for building a variety of websites. So, GoDaddy has a web hosting provider offers easy so making it a great choice for beginners and professionals likes before we start we wanted to make sure you have a godaddy account first up what you wanted to do is to purchase a hosting plan and go directly here into godaddy installing the wordpress into godaddy after purchasing your hosting plan which is into websites and hosting you can choose the option that says hosting wordpress hosting and as you can see we can choose the option that says see plans and it's going to be taking you for managed wordpress basics Manage WordPress Deluxe, the Manage Ultimate, choose the one that best suits for you. I can totally recommend you to stick around with the recommended price of the Manage and the Deluxe version. So once you hit into Buy, you want to go directly into the hosting dashboard where you can find the WordPress installer and follow the prompts to install. So in our case, let's go and focus inside our account and go into My Products. Now here into My Products, you should see that it's going to be apparent your services here so choose the domain and the hosting so once you hit into install with wordpress what's going to happen here is going to be asking you to generate and create your accessing um, username and your passcode so create your wordpress administrator username and passcode during the setup this one is going to be bringing you into your new account of your WordPress and you're now going to be having access to your WordPress. Now selecting a WordPress theme. Once WordPress is installed, you can log into your WordPress. That's what we did before. The next step is to choose a theme. So uh, WordPress actually offers a lot and wide range of premium premium theme design to suit the different styling functionalities. You wanted to select a theme that aligns with your website and put post into aesthetically. And to do that, what you wanted to do is to go directly into your pages. And here into pages, uh, you can get started by adding new one and choose a template. Or the other thing that I can do is to go directly into appearance, choose themes. And here, as you can see, there's a lot of info. Uh, let's say, for example, I can go here into customize and it's going to be sending you directly into the editor of your template. This is the part where you want to customize your website. With your theme selected, you can start customizing your website. Use the WordPress customizer to modify elements. You want to customize uh, colors, you want to customize fonts, the layouts, adding your own images and content to make the design uniquely yours. Uh, remember, you can always change the tweak to your site uh, later. So this is an actual website that we have generated for an actual client, speaking about the fast bill, uh, the Freddy franchise. So this is the power you want to add plugins and functionality. I'm going to go and head back into the design so I can show you that the plugin extend the functionality of your WordPress site. From CEO tools to social media integration, there's a plugin for almost everything here. So install the session plugins like Yoast for CEO, WooCommerce, setting up your stores directly into plugins. And here what you want to do is to go for add a new one. Let's go for add new plugin. And here you can just type the keywords that you're going to be looking for. Let's say, for example, CEO. Be mindful of the number of plugins you can install, of course. Too many can slow down your site, right? So as you can see, we have Yoast CEO, Slim CEO, CEO Pressed, All-in-One CEO. If you wanted to look out for something, for example, for themes, I can go and type themes as a keyword. And it's going to be showing me a theme by Elementor. There's a theme check, the theme editor. Uh, the block theme, let's say for example that I wanted to add now socials for example. And it's going to be showing me uh, Smash Balloons, there's social sharing, there's Jetpack, there's social media. There's a lot of stuff here that you can add directly inside your plugins. And after that, it's going to hit into install plugins and activate all of them uh, once you are totally in. And there you have it. You have now set up your WordPress website inside the GoDaddy. So the world of WordPress is vast and there's always more to learn and explore. 
Now, if this tutorial was helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Express for more developing guides. Any questions or tips for new word promise uses, you can drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Happy website building. Stay tuned for more helpful tutorials, guys, from Express. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.